So welcome back and in this tutorial we are going to be talking about the type conversions in python ok. So basically now let us get started ok. So what is type conversion ok. Now we have seen about the data types in our last uh, video ok. So we talked about the data types and all ok. Now what if you want to convert this uh, from one data type to the another ok. So, for let us say that from int you want to convert it to float or from float to int vice versa or suppose you want to convert a string to list and list to tuple and something like that ok. So, here the python has defined some of the uh, conversion methods ok which you can uh, see over here that is uh, it is just uh, in order uh, to uh, convert from one data type to the another ok. So, basically the python had de uh, defined these all uh, conversion methods as you can see that uh, int method is there float string list tuple and set these are nothing but the methods ok uh, it is functions ok in a python we call it at uh, methods and not functions ok. So, basically the need of this is like uh, as uh, the earlier we have uh, seen one uh, uh, example in which we were accepting uh, two information uh, from the users and in that scenario as we have know that the python by default it accepts uh, it as a string ok. And uh, you need to tell your python that uh, listen python it is not a string it is a number ok. So, in that case you, you need to do a, a type conversion over there ok. So, we are going to see this all uh, with a, a example. So, let us get started ok. So, let us head over to our pycharm ok. Now, we are going to declare one int ok. So, I, if I say like uh, number is equal to 17 or all, all right. And if I say like a print num ok. So, if I say print num. So, it is going to print my number right. And suppose I want to convert this ok. So, simply I am going to uh, take another variable suppose that I say like uh, ok a ok. And I want to say that uh, hey python I know this is a num uh, this is an integer but I want to convert it into float ok. I will say float and I will pass the num ok. Uh, because that is my variable name ok. And if I say here that uh, print a ok insist, instead of uh, num ok. So, we will check this out. So, yeah it says that 17.0. So, you, uh, you saw that it got converted ok. We took uh, the integer as an uh, uh, input. Uh, it is not an input uh, over here, but it is a we have taken uh, the value as 17 and we have put it into a variable name as num and we are just converting it into float ok. Now, we will just uh, see the uh, uh, just a second, we will even check the type of it ok. So, if I see that uh, uh, let us uh, do like print and I want to say type of num alright and here if I if I will say that uh, print type of I want to say a ok. So, let us check it out ok. So, you here you can see that now from here you will get a clear picture ok. So, first it was of class int ok as I said it was of 17 then it got converted into float ok. It displayed the your answer because I am printing over there and then it has converted and it says that it is a float. So, my goal was to give you an example like how we can do type conversion in python ok. So, basically here what we have done we have converted an int to float. So, you can do this vice versa ok just let us uh, check it out ok. So, so, for example say I say take a number as uh, a is equal to o oh, a is already over there ok. So, we will take this time b ok b is equal to and I say 17.5 and uh, I want to say like print uh, or we are going to take another variable that is c is equal to and I want print and I will just say that just convert it. So, basically what I am doing is I want to convert it right. So, I am going to si simply use that now this is a float ok I am going to convert it in, into int. So, I am going to just simply say that I want to convert it into int. So, int and I will just pass as b alright and here I am going to print as print c ok. So, let us check it out. So, you can see over here that uh, uh, you can see that the decimal point has been removed right. 
so earlier uh, as i had passed it as 17.5 okay so it is giving me 17 only because i have converted from float to end okay so basically we saw that how we can convert into float and float to end so now heading over to our uh, ppt okay so uh, talking about this okay so we have converted from into float and float to end what if i want to uh, perform this uh, i want to convert string to list okay we have seen what is string and what is list and all now we are basically going to take one string and we are going to uh, convert it into list okay so let's check it out so in python okay so basically i i will just delete this code okay for the simplicity and i'm taking this string uh, this uh, as uh, ws cube tag okay okay so this is my string and uh, i want to convert it okay into list suppose say so i'm going to say list and i'm going to say uh, give it a parameter pass the uh, variable name okay and i'm going to say print b okay so let's run it so you can see that as i have passed here a string and it's giving me uh, it's converting it into list you know how how we are uh, supposed to declare a list right in the square brackets okay and uh, this is how we can convert a string to list we can even convert it to a tuple okay so let's just uh, change over here like uh, a tuple okay so now it will give me the results and uh, rounded brackets right we know that tuple uh, we, we need to declare it in round brackets and in case of set we, uh, we are using this uh, uh, curly braces okay so we can even uh, do that case okay so let's convert it into set okay so just quickly run it and yes you are getting the results in that curly braces okay and if you can see or, or observe over here is that it's unordered as we have already discussed that set is unordered and even uh, you can see here that it so as you can see here that it doesn't repeat right uh, you are not seeing uh, as we can see uh, in our string we are having this uh, uh, e double times okay so it's not giving you only one okay and you can basically see here uh, this empty space okay it's be because here there is a space over here so if i uh, give my string in this way so you can see yeah so it's not giving that string so the basically the idea was here over to convert a string to any tuple or set okay so this was about the uh, 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 converting a string to another data type okay so heading over to this and we'll see uh, the next one that is we even we uh, up till now we have seen how to convert into float and float to int and we even saw how to convert string to list tuple sets okay and what if i want to convert a list to tuple okay so let's take an example okay so i'm having this list okay uh, i will just uh, make this as a list okay so you know how to declare a list so we declare square brackets okay and if i say that fine it is ws cube okay and one more string i have tag all right and uh, simply i'm having a x matrix sign all right so this is my list okay because i've declared in a square brackets and i want to convert it into say, say set okay fine no problem so we are going to basically say b is equal to set a and we're going to print it okay so it says yeah so you see i have already told you that it's unordered okay so it will not give you uh, in the order of which you have given in list as in list it is a ordered list okay so this was about converting to this uh, set okay you are converting a list to set and what if i want to convert it into tuple okay so say let like, for example i just make changes over here and let's run it out and check it out so you can see this is an ordered thing okay and you are getting the results right and uh, this was about uh, converting a list to the other two forms okay and let's head over to here okay so basically the idea over here is how you can convert one data type to into another okay we'll take now a tuple okay and we will convert it into other forms okay so let's take a tuple okay and we know in order to declare a tuple we need to use a, a round brackets okay so we are making this and say for example i will convert it into list all right so let's check it out so yeah we are getting a list okay it is declared in the square brackets and all so this was basically like uh, you can check the remaining out about uh, how we can convert from one uh, method to another the, from one data to another data okay one more thing i want to give it over here is like if you have seen 
like uh, in the earlier tutorial we have worked with range right so we are giving basically a range okay and we say that uh, uh, python i want i'm giving you a range for example i'm giving you 50 okay and i want to print this okay so it will get printed from 0 to 49 okay so suppose i say a okay and if i run over here okay you, you can see that it's giving range that 0 to 59 now what if i want to see the elements inside it so why not basically now for uh, as for now we have studied how to convert it into data types from one data uh, type to another so why not convert this range into list okay so let's check it out so for example i have this and i'm going to say that b is equal to list and a okay and i'm going to print b okay so let's run so you can see that we are getting the result okay so it starts from zero and it ends till 49 as i said so this is how you can convert range into list okay and what if i say that uh, come on uh, uh, for example uh, if i say that i want uh, to convert this and into a set all right so i can even do that case over here okay so basically uh, it will give me the same uh, result because there in here there is no some repetition of something but what if i had uh, now uh, before going to that uh, i will even uh, tell you one more thing like in range you can even give three parameters now for example you can give starting parameter okay so it will start with zero it will end with i want to say i want to give suppose 20 it will end at 20 and i want to give the difference of 2 okay so basically what you are doing you are starting with 0 you're going to end at uh, till 20 and you want to give the difference of 2 all right so uh, as for now i'm just going to uh, comment this because first we'll see the output okay so just saying yeah it starts with zero okay and uh, uh, okay it's not printing anything now in order to print that thing you know i don't uh, i need to convert it into set or okay, uh, list okay so first we're going to convert it into list okay and we'll say now the values inside it okay so let's run it so yeah you can see that we are getting the output at 0 2 uh, 4 6 and 8 up to 20 okay so it, uh, the difference is over here so the range even accepts three parameters right so uh, with this now suppose that uh, i have this uh, range all right and in case of set you know uh, we are going to get the uh, it, it will won't be repeated values right so this is how you can convert the range to list okay and uh, it, this data type is very necessary in order to know the elements which are present inside this because if you don't print this it's going to just simply give you the range of this and it, in order to know the values inside it you need to convert it into other form okay so we'll just do a quick recap okay so basically we done uh, studied in this tutorial like what is uh, uh, the type conversion right so type conversion is uh, just basically converting from one data type to another and there comes a various scenarios in which you you, uh, you will be using this type conversion methods okay so these are the type conversion methods in python which uh, uh, which are nothing but int method and float string list triple set we even saw some of the examples okay like converting from int to float and vice versa and converting from the string to list triple set and uh, even triple to set and all so this was all about the type conversion in python all right so thanks for watching and see you in the next video